What are run-on sentences and how can you fix them? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching for my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. This video right here is part of our sentence correction series where I talk about yung mga common grammar mistakes na kadalasan din lumalabas sa mga attitude exams pagdating dun sa sentence correction section. Alam niyo yung may mga blanks, tapos sasabihin niyo kung nasan man yung mali sa sentence na yon or yung choose the best sentence and yung mga ganong klaseng tanong. Alright? Now, ngayon, run on sentences sa pag-uusapan natin. But if you want to watch the other parts ng playlist na ito, yung iba pang mga errors na pag-uusapan natin dati, like comma splice, arranging adjectives, tag questions, at iba pa, click right here on the i button to, so you can watch the other videos. Alright? And uh, before we dive into yung ating discussion for today, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, one way that you can do that is through being a channel member. And if you want to get to know more about that process, you can click right here sa i button for the video explaining that. Sa lahat ng mga channel sponsors natin ngayon, the rookies, members, and MVPs, thank you so much for helping me fund this advocacy, helping us create more free videos for everyone. Maraming salamat sa inyo. And uh, anyone who sees them then sa comments, naka, makaka-interact nyo sila, meron silang mga badges sa pangalan nila, please thank them for me. Kasi again, sila yung tumutulong para matulungan namin kayo. Alright? Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to jump into yung discussion ko na. I'll see you in a bit. Alright? So ito discussion natin on run-on sentences. Again, part pa rin siya ng sentence correction section pagdating sa exams. Kaya very important for you to understand kung anong error ito at uh, pati na rin kung paano siya i-correct. Now, ano ba muna yung pwede nating gawing example dito? If you look at this sentence, sabi niya, you were Romeo, comma, you were throwing pebbles. Now, again, uh, these are lines from Taylor Swift's love story. Pag pasensya niyo na yung Swifty heart ko. No? Pero, uh, this is just an example uh, ng isang run-on sentence. Now, bakit? Kasi ang run-on sentence ay ito ang sentence na tinatawag na fused sentence which happens kapag may dalawang independent clauses. Kumbaga may dalawang bahagi na pwede nang bumuo ng complete sentences tapos nakakabit sila. Okay, nakakabit sila either ng uh, comma o kaya minsan walang dugtong. And there are different forms or types ng run-on sentences. Now, yung first type is the comma splice. We actually have a dedicated video nito. Uh, before, so if you haven't seen that video yet, ililink ko na lang din dito sa taas, sa i button if you're watching on YouTube, para maka-catch up kayo. And um, yung comma splice is just another form, uh, just one of the many forms ng run-on sentences. Another form or type is yung ganito. You have the first, first independent clause, tapos meron kang transitional expression, uh, minsan however, uh, furthermore, therefore, Tapos, nakakabit na yung uh, second independent clause. Another type is yung independent clause. Tapos, isa pang independent clause na ang bida naman ay pronoun for the same noun dun sa unang independent clause. Okay? So, again, itong mga tipong, uh, yung mga structure or types ng run sentences na ito, nakikita natin siya in the wild, no? Nakikita natin siya minsan, pero hindi siya napapansin. And this is why suki siya sa exams. Kasi if ang um, inyong college or kung kunwari ang civil service exam o kaya any company na gusto niyo maging bahagi, kung hindi ninyo kilala yung run-on sentences, ang sagot lagi, no error, ang sagot lagi, okay na siya, pero yun pala may mga mali sa kanila. Now, paano natin ito makikita? Simulan natin doon sa comma splice. Again, we have a dedicated video naman dito, so dadaanan lang natin. This is what it looks like. Independent clause, tapos yung isa ka pang comma, tapos independent clause. Now, doon muna tayo doon sa refresher natin kung ano ba independent clause. Kapag meron kang subject at meron ka ring verb at meron kang object or buo yung isang part ng sentence tapos meron pang isang ganon na meron ding sarili niyang subject, may sarili ding verb at object or kahit na verb lamang, no? kahit minsan hindi naman nilalagay ko ng object, basta buo na siya at ang naghahati sa kanila ay isang comma lamang, mali na siya. So, yung ating example kanina, di ba? You were Romeo, comma, you were throwing pebbles. If you see dun sa left side na you were Romeo, yung you were Romeo is uh, complete na siya na sentence. You, 
being the subject, were is our be verb. Tapos si Romeo yung uh, description kung sino siya. So, kumbaga, pwede ng buong sentence ng you were Romeo, period. Independent clause siya. Pag tinan natin sa right side, you were throwing pebbles, buong sentence din siya. You, ang subject, or gumagawa. You were throwing pebbles, ito naman yung ginagawa niya. So, again, buong sentence lang din, na din ito. At, at dahil kama lang yun ang kakabit sa kanya, mali, mali yan. Okay? Now, yung transitional expression na mention natin kanina would look like this. You have your independent clause. Tapos meron kang minsan comma, before this, minsan wala. Tapos yung intransitional expression natin, you have however, moreover, therefore, meanwhile, indeed, then also subsequently, and may mga iba pang examples na hindi ko nailista dito. Tapos nakadugtong yung isa pang independent clause. Okay, so it would look something like this. You were Romeo, moreover, you were throwing pebbles. But again, nakalagay siya na isa pang kama sa before no transitional expression, isang kama after. This is wrong. This is a run-on sentence. Okay? And there are ways to correct that, which we'll talk about later. Yung third form is the independent clause. Tapos yung independent clause, kahit na hindi mismong noun, hindi mismong yung pangalan ng sinabi, pero kung pronoun siya, pertaining to the same subject doon sa nauunang independent clause, mali pa rin. So again, you have your independent clause, plus yung comma, plus yung independent clause na pangalawa. It would look something like this. This love is difficult, comma, it's real. Now, bakit ito run on sentence? Kasi yung this love, which is the first subject dito sa unang independent clause natin, siya pa rin yung it, dun sa it's real. Okay? So again, it may not say na this love is difficult, this love is real, pero dahil yung it na yan is still this love, run on sentence pa rin ito. Nahahati pa rin siya ng kama. Okay? So again, yan ang iba-ibang mga itsura nila nung mga run-on sentences. Now, the next question would be, how do we fix it? You have a number of options. Number one, you can add a conjunction. You can also turn the comma into a semicolon. You can turn the comma into a period. Kasi kakapitalize mo yung kasunod. Or yung bagong na-introduce natin dito, which we did not discuss dun sa video natin on comma splices, ay yung pagdagdag ng subordinating conjunction. Okay. Now, paano ito ginagawa? Let's start with option 1. Again, magdadagdag ka lang ng conjunction. So, you have your independent clause. Tapos, instead of a comma lang, nalagyan natin ng coordinator. Okay? Bago natin ilugtong yung independent clause na pangalawa. So, kung meron tayong coordinator like yung fanboys, which again is a different video din. If you haven't seen that yet, i-link ko lang din sa i button sa taas. You have for and nor, but, or, yet, or so. Depende sa kung ano yung sakto dun sa sentence na ginagamit natin. Pwede kang magdagdag niyan. Tapos, tsaka mo idugtong yung pangalawang independent clause. So, yung example natin na you were Romeo, you were throwing pebbles. Dati, di ba, meron lang siyang isang comma right here. Which makes it a run-on sentence or comma splice siya. So, kung gusto ko to i-correct, hindi ko siya iiwanan na comma lang. Dadagdagan ko siya ng conjunction. Now, dun sa fanboys, for and, um, nor but yet, di ba, but or yet. So, parang mas maganda kong end. Kasi siya rin yun eh, di ba? You were Romeo and you were throwing pebbles. Okay? So, pag ganyan na siya, pwede na yan. Pwede na mag-work yung sentence natin. Now, there's no need to capitalize this kasi isang sentence pa rin naman siya. Okay? Just don't forget na lagyan ng comma dito. Now, hindi kailangan ng comma after ng end, idudugtong lang natin, karugtong na agad yung you were throwing pebbles. So, pag ganito na, tama na yung sentence natin. Okay? Now, another option would be yung comma ay gagawin nating semicolon. So, yung independent clause plus comma plus independent clause, yung comma na yan, gagawin lang natin siyang semicolon. So, sa example natin kanina, you were Romeo, you were throwing pebbles. Ang um, pwede natin gawin would be, again, yung kaninang comma lang dito, nalagyan lang natin ng tuldok sa taas, magiging semicolon na siya. Okay. Now, an important thing to note pagdating sa ganito is hindi din natin kinakapitalize yung letter after ng semicolon unless proper noun siya or kailangan talaga. Okay? Unless ang nakalagay, you were Romeo, Romeo was throwing pebbles. Kasi yung Romeo, capital yun dahil yun ang pangalan niya. In that case, kailangan mo siya i-capitalize. Pero dahil you lang naman siya, iiwanan natin siya as a small letter. Now, again, kung naguguluhan kayo dito sa semicolon, sa colon or anything, idaling ko na lang din sa taas, sa i button if you're watching this on YouTube, yung lesson natin on the semicolon at kung kailan siya ginagamit. Okay? 
Now, next. This. Ang pwede natin gawin is this. Instead of comma, here, and a comma right here, ang gagawin lang natin yung una, pwede natin siya gawing semicolon instead of a comma. So, semicolon, moreover, comma, you were throwing pebbles. Okay? Ganyan siya. Kapag ganyan na siya, kompleto na siya, pwede na yung ganon. Or, another option is to turn the comma into a period. Okay? So, independent clause, comma, independent clause. Instead of that, gagawin natin siyang period. Okay? But, again, dahil period na siya at mag na sila ng sentence, magiging capital na yung first letter nung second independent clause natin. Now, how does that look like in action? Alright, so kung kunyari ito, dati siyang comma, hindi na siya pwedeng maging comma ngayon, gagawin na natin siyang period. Now, don't forget na kapag kinorek natin ito, dahil period yan at isang sentence na ito, this right here should be a capital letter. So, you were throwing pebbles. Magiging capital na siya kasi period na to. Now, for the second fix natin, kapag meron ka rin na ganitong classing statement or ganyan classing word, Ang pwede natin gawin din is to turn the comma into a period. So, instead of yung kanina na semicolon, yung nalagay natin, di ba, ganyan, tas comma, ang gagawin natin would be, maglalagay tayo ng period right here, tapos gagawin natin capital yung moreover, kung gusto natin siya i-keep, tapos nalagyan natin ng comma after it. So, you were, you were Romeo, moreover, comma, you were throwing pebbles. No need to capitalize this kasi ito na yung first letter ng no ating second sentence. Okay? So again, you have multiple options naman. Now, option number four is to add a subordinating conjunction. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin nun? You have your independent clause and another independent clause. Pwede rin na again, pronoun yung ginamit instead of a noun. Instead of maglalagay tayo something sa pagitan nila, ang gagawin natin ay maglalagay tayo ng lead or nauuna na subordinating conjunction and a comma. Now, how do we do that? How do we add that? Now, ganito ang gagawin natin. If you have this example right here, option number four, this love is difficult, it's real, okay? Pwede natin siya lagyan ng lead na even if this love, so, so letter na siya, even if this love is difficult, comma, it's real. Okay? Or by the ring, although, although this love is difficult, it's real. At dahil ganyan na siya, at itong part na to now doesn't form a complete sentence, kasi yung although love is difficult is not a sentence, pwede na siyang magstay as that. Okay? Isang sentence na lang siya. Okay? So again, pwede mo rin gawin yung magdagdag na subordinating conjunction before the sentence. Now, the best way for you to test kung naintindihan nyo talaga is through a quick quiz. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you time. Three questions lang ito. Mabilis na mabilis lang. I just want you to spot kung ano yung tamang sentence. Okay? Choose the best sentence. Much like yung mga questions that you can expect sa mga aptitude tests, UPLA, civil service, college entrance test, job application exam, at iba ba. Alright? And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. So, mabilis lang to. Pipiliin lang natin kung ano yung tama sa kanila. Titignan natin isa-isa yung mga sentence. Subukan na rin natin. Correct? A, you were Romeo, comma, I was a scarlet letter. So, you is the first subject. Tapos, kompleto siya na independent clause. Ito rin, kompleto rin siya. Independent clause din siya. Dahil comma lang ang nakalagay dito. This is wrong. Kasi, meron siyang comma splice. So, mali ito. Okay, hindi siya pwedeng sagot. Yung pangalawa, okay sana, kaya lang may missing comma before the end. So, wala siyang comma doon, kulang siya. So, this is also wrong. So, sa first na question, ang tama ay letter C. Again, one of the things that we can do is to just add a period right there. So, you were Romeo, period. I was a scarlet letter. Yan, tama na yan, letter C. Yung pangalawa naman, you'll be the prince, semicolon, meanwhile, I'll be the... Princess. Now, tama ba to? 
Mm, tama naman, no? Kasi meron kang semicolon, hindi colon. Tapos, hindi rin nakakapitalize yung meanwhile. May comma ka after. Pwede to. This can work. Tsaka yung meanwhile, ibig sabihin kasabay. So, habang ikaw yung prince, ako naman ay magiging princess. So, this makes sense. So, tama tayo dyan. Just to make sure, check natin yung iba kong mali. You'll be the prince and I'll be the princess. Again, missing yung comma here. So, this is wrong. You'll be the prince. Up, oh, okay. This is a colon, not a semicolon. So, again, if you haven't seen yung discussion natin on the colon naman, ililink ko lang din sa taas. I'll be the princess. So, mali ito. Next, okay, ang sagot natin is letter A. Yung susunod naman, I talk to your dad, so go pick out a white dress. Okay, so walang kahit anong punctuation dyan. So, this is wrong. Next, I talk to your dad, comma, go pick out a white dress. Okay, medyo awkward pa rin siya kasi I talk to your dad is an independent clause. Go pick out a white dress is still a sentence. Wala man nakalagay na you go pick out uh, pick out a white dress or you should go pick out a white dress. Uh, naiintindihan siya as buong sentence. So, awkward pa rin ito. Tingnan natin kung mas maganda yung letter C. So, since I talk to your dad, or dahil nak nakausap pa na dad mo, go pick out a white dress. Okay? Since I talk to your dad, parang kumagang nakausap pa na dad mo, go pick out a white dress, I would say you can choose this as the best sentence. Since is now our lead doon sa sentence na yon, okay? Dahil dito, hindi na siya buong sentence, pwede na siyang maging part ng isang mas mahabang sentence, which is this. Alright, so yan yung mga sagot natin dito sa topic na ito. And I hope you got all of these correctly. If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Laika Marabella on Instagram for the new quick quiz questions sa Instagram story. And for the uh, throwback quick quiz questions and important announcements, you can follow at Team Laika on Instagram. I'm also on TikTok. So if you, you don't follow me yet, at Team Laika para sa mga quick quizzes na iba pa doon sa ating main TikTok account and um, of course yung at like Amar Villanman for the motivational videos tips and advice. Alright? See you soon. Alright, I hope you learned something here today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Sala nung mag-exam din sila. That way, masalami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I've made. Join the online or live review events. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika for more information. Alright? And uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon na rin. Marami pa tayong pag-uusapan sa susunod. And if may mga requests kayo ng mga topics na pag-uusapan natin sa mga susunod pa nating lessons, go ahead and type it sa comments sa baba at nang mailista natin yan sa mga kailangan ko pang i-cover soon. Alright? Thanks for watching and if you want to help support this channel then one way that you can do that is through our merch shop so you can go and visit shop.teamlaika.com to check out your mga shirts, hoodies, caps, mugs, and everything else I designed for this team. So mga bumili na, thank you. Sa bibili pa lang, salamat din. And uh, thank you again for helping me make this possible for so many, so many of our kababayans from all over the world. So salamat sa inyong lahat. And as we always say sa channel to, Never stop learning. Aja, aja, kainyan. See you in my next video and bye for now.